Hello everybody! This video will show you how to connect to remote desktop of another computer within a local network or via the Internet by using the integrated Windows function Remote Desktop. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialist will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Many of you must know that one computer can be connected to another to manage it or perform certain tasks. For this purpose, third-party software is often used. But in this video, I will tell you about one of Windows 10 functions – Remote Desktop, which can help you to connect to a remote computer from your PC. If you want to connect to a remote computer in your local network, make sure that remote connections are allowed for this remote computer. To do it, go to Control Panel – System – Remote settings. In the tab Remote, find the section Remote Desktop and check the box next to Allow remote connections to this computer. Apply and OK. To connect to a remote, to remote desktop of another PC, you also need to know its IP address in the local network. In most local networks, this address is constantly changing. That is why, to enable access to remote desktop, you should assign a static IP address to the computer to which you plan to have access. To do it, open Control Panel – Network and Sharing Center. Click on the link with the name of the network. Details. In the Details window, you can see information on the IP address. We are especially interested in the following lines. IPv4 address, IP4 default gateway, IPv4 DNS servers. Close Details and open Properties. Select IP version 4 – TCP IPv4 – and click on Properties. In the next window, select the function Use the following IP address and use the following DNS server addresses. Enter the settings you have received before into the lines which are now active. OK. Now do the following to connect to the remote computer which we have just set up. In the main computer, start the run tool by pressing Windows Plus R. Enter the command MSTSC. OK. In the window of the tool Remote Desktop Connection, enter the IP address of the computer to which you are trying to connect into the line Computer. You can see the IP address of the computer when setting it up in the Network Details window. It is IPv4 address. Connect. Windows Security System asks for an account password of the computer to which you are trying to connect. Enter it and click OK. Sometimes the security system warns that the computer you are connecting to doesn't have a trusted certificate. Disregard it and click Yes. Remote Desktop is connected. Now you can do anything in such remote computer. Let me remind you that this is how you can connect a remote desktop of a computer in a network. If you need to get access to a remote desktop of a computer beyond a local network, which means via the Internet, you will have to switch port 3389 to the IP address of your computer in your router and then connect to the public address of your router specifying this port. Let's have a closer look at it. To learn a public address of your router, go to the website 2IP. In the upper part of the page, you will see an address which is your public IP. After that, go to the router settings. To do it, open a browser and enter the default IP address of the router into the LAN address bar. They are different for all routers, so read the router's manual to learn how to get to its settings. 
as the DHCP router server can give the device a different IP address every time it will reserve it. To do it, go to the menu DHCP Address Reservations. Add a new entry by clicking Add New. In the field MAC Address, specify the MAC address of your web server. In the field Reserved IP Address, give the preferred address. Leave the current address of this computer as it is. Status Enabled and Save. After that, go to the menu Forwarding Virtual Servers Add. Enter Service Port 3389, Internal Port 3389, IP Address. Enter the previously reserved IP. Protocol All, Status Enabled, and don't change the standard service port. Save. Now port forwarding setup is complete. Now go to the main computer and try getting access to remote desktop of the computer we have just set up. Remember that if you want to connect to a remote computer in your local network, make sure that remote connections are allowed for this remote computer. In the beginning of this video I showed how to do it. Now let's begin. In the main computer start the run tool by pressing Windows plus R. Enter the command mstsc, OK. In the window of the tool remote desktop connection, enter the IP address of the computer to which you are going to connect and the port of the virtual server you have created for forwarding into the line computer. You could find the IP address of the router by visiting the website to IP, as I have shown you before. Connect. Windows Security System asks for an account password of the computer to which you are trying to connect. Enter it. OK. Sometimes the security system warns that the computer you are connecting to doesn't have a trusted certificate. Disregard it and click Yes. Remote Desktop is connected. Now you can do anything in such remote computer. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, click the Like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!